I have always wanted to do this. always wanted to do that. I'm in Berlin. Um, I've come really quickly actually. I've got a bunch of things to do. I have a birthday. I'm doing a couple of shoots. Um, I'm seeing a couple of friends. I have a couple of meetings. So really short but super busy trip. But you know me, I love this city so I'm super happy to be here. And it's Christmas. The best time to be in Berlin. After I did that, everyone's looking at me like, who is this weird brown guy? And at airports, that's never a good idea. I like to keep on the low in European airports for obvious reasons. Okay, Katie, you have to explain what we're doing today. Uh, we're shooting a video uh, at this beautiful venue. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, Tempelhofer Flugfeld, Berlin City, Neukölln, represent yo, yo, at, uh, yo, 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 yo. A music video for what? A music video for a beautiful track called Weapons. By? Uh, by me. Yo! And filmed by the wonderful uh, Nilgreen. Uh, okay. But Emily on vocals, she's brought her, she's brought her microphone. It's in the yeah, yeah. My, set, my equipment is all in here. Nilgreen, what's the plan? What's the plan? The plan is to light oh, some uh, <laughs> smoke bombs. I mean, we don't need it, but uh, we will still do it for the feeling. <laughs> and then uh, let Katie perform what she does best. <laughs> so Temple Hoverfeld is like an abandoned airport. Represent! It used to be the old airport of Berlin when they were separated to East and West Side. But now it's completely abandoned and it's become a public park. It's one of my favorite places in Berlin. Yeah. Is it the right end? Take care. Okay. You're doing a really good job, Neil Good. I'm really, really proud of you. <laughs> Are we, are we matching? Yeah, like one more song, like... We're matching. Planned it. Oh my god. Juicy. Oh, man, it's so cold. But that was a nice surprise. Wasn't expecting that. I was just expecting breakfast with some good friends. But ended up in a rap music video. <laughs> Yo guys, um, we're in Neukan and we're here for a really cool reason today. So today I'm meeting Jean. Jean is a really cool designer. She runs a company called Zazi. So we're gonna have a meeting now and, and she's really cool and she runs a really, really, really amazing product which I think you'll love. Um, so yeah. Yo, Jean! <laughs> so we totally, we totally planned okay. that. We totally planned that. Yeah. Good to see ya! Yeah, good to see you the, flat, the flat looks amazing. Oh, yeah. Can you show me around? But work is going well, yeah? Work is going very well. Very busy. So Leanne is like one of those overachievers who's done literally everything at the age of 23 and makes someone like me feel like I've underachieved no. in life. It's not true. She's uh, traveled the world, right? A little bit, yes. And you're still studying as well. I was still studying. And have her own fashion brand, and, and she like modeled for like three three years. And, and yoga teacher. Yoga and teacher. Too and much in my life going on. Oh, I think it's because I have a very floopy mind. My mind always goes like floop, 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 floop. <laughs> So this is where I used to sleep. I used to sleep right there. But Philip, my ex-colleague who I used to work at Elevant for, has changed it into his office. Which is sad because some good memories were made there. But um, he's going to tell me what he's working on. Oh, 
you're, you're, she's such an amateur. amateur. I know. So I might be going to Austria for the New Year's and Philip and I were thinking he'll be there as well. We were thinking why not just film some cool stuff in the Austrian Alps, which I would love to do because it's like my favorite place ever. I'm like the worst brown guy because I prefer like cold, snowy climates as opposed to hot ones. <laughs> Uh, Leonie and I were having dinner and and uh, I got a message on my phone someone had asked me if I was safe and I was super confused because why wouldn't I be and then uh, we checked online and there had been an attack in Berlin and we're just watching the news now we came straight to our friends Philip's house to watch the news and it says currently nine people have died and over 50 are injured it's never it's never it's never nice to hear these things but when it's like somewhere you live and somewhere you feel really like attached to it makes it feel so much closer and we were just chatting amongst ourselves how messed up the world feels right now and Are you getting like messages all the time yeah. they found a guy that was close to where it happened and they're finding out if it, if it was him it's it's not sure yet Somebody described the driver and because of the description That that I wonder about this, you know, how does that work? How can they really find someone because if I was the guy I would just seriously go hide somewhere or I don't know What's even worse it was during Christmas it was at a Christmas market where people young people especially children are Enjoying themselves with their families, etc. And there is no justification for something like this. I know there are like untold tragedies happening worldwide, but... Okay. So, uh, see you in kids, all right? Ciao, ciao, chico. Bye, lover birds. Behave yourselves. See you in kids. Don't, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye. No, not too sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh, see ya. Yeah. That is definitely not Philip's. Philip does not work out. <laughs> nice, good one. airport I just want to say something really quickly and that's with regards to the Berlin attack um, you know I started Benny to build something really positive that we can imagine a better future together despite your race religion ethnicity or when problems or, or, or tragedies like that happen it makes you feel like although you might have taken one step forward you have to take two steps back um, and there are so many atrocities in the world that make you feel like is what you're doing the right thing to do um, in a world where you just feel dwarfed by by how many shitty situations there are of death and, and, and children dying and, and, and war and destruction. Last night I was feeling pretty down. Um, I slept on it and then I realized it's moments like this that you just have to keep plowing on. It might feel like demotivating or you want to give up or, or, or you might lack inspiration but give yourself some time, um, get some perspective because it's moments like this that positive beautiful spaces are very necessary and there's a lot of disenchanted people right now feeling super super overwhelmed by all the emotion and hurt and suffering in the world and it's moments like this that we need to build and, and build bridges and create together and and do incredibly inspirational things and, and and bring people worldwide despite all their issues bring them all together and do the best that we can so i was feeling demotivated last night but now i'm feeling even more inspired to do what i believe is needed right now uh, through Benny um, but yeah so let's just uh, pray it works out and that I can help a couple of people <laughs>